Here we are, getting ready for this showdown between these two fighters. Should be a good one. I'm Todd Grisham. Alongside me is Johnny Nelson. It's going to be unbelievable. The fans, everybody around the world, the fighters. This is just one of those things. And now it's time for the tale of the tape. And here is the legend himself, Saul Canelo Alvarez. He's 172 centimeters tall with a reach of 179. And facing him here, Carl Frotch. He comes in six foot one inches tall with a 75.2 inch reach. <laughs> I'll always go for reach every time over anything. If you've got reach, touch with speed, nobody's gonna touch you, but someone that can get in close, that has the power to get up close and personal and break those ribs, get those shots. So here is Saul Canelo Alvarez, a four de Carl the Cobra Frotch, one of the greatest super middleweight champions of all time, fighting out of Nottingham, United Kingdom. The reach, how on earth are they gonna get through that jab? And now for the official introductions, we turn it over to the world-renowned Jimmy Lennon Jr. This bout is scheduled for 12 rounds of boxing. In the red corner, from Guadalajara, Jalisco, Mexico, here is Mexico's first ever undis... We've waited a long time for this fight. It's here, and the fighters are good to go. Take the phone off the hook. This is all I wanted to see right now, right in front of me. No doubt about it, this was the hottest ticket in town by a country mile. Every seat has been sold. the bell to start the round. Nice idea with the jab, but does not land. They both want a knockout, you can tell. Which fighter will say no moss? Careful for that receipt, it's always coming. One of the hottest tickets around. It's standing room only for this, our main event. You can walk into an arena, be the hero, the pressure, the expectation, the, the desire from the fans. You can't get away from it. Ignore them. Lock it off. I know it's hard. I can hardly hear you, Todd. You've got to ignore them. Get on with your job. figure out the combination to this safe. Back and forth they go. Skill for skill, tap for tap. She's like a match made in heaven. That's another scoring shot. This fight has a real good flow to it. battle and he scores with the counter this round still up for grabs with just 10 seconds to go nice counter talk about Alvarez in that last round well he is in big trouble here he may have been saved by the bell you know I've been in five sides Ring the bell, and here we go. That corner has got to find a way to get some momentum behind their fighter. That was a tough last round. Now you've got to make sure he doesn't put it on him. That's what he's going to try and do. So tie him up, hold him, lean on him. Don't get drawn into a fight. Not yet, not until your senses have come back. If you're a counter puncher, then basically you do the counter attack. You let them get their punch off first, and then you answer in kind. Todd, I understand what you're saying, but you've got to be on this. You've got to be on it. You've got to be a pro. You've got to think right. Concentrate. And he wasn't ready for that counter punch. They know their body's been compromised. they got to cover it up, and that leaves the head open. 
Oh, that punch. Big shots from both these fighters. Got to be careful, though. Very close match. It shows the skill, the discipline, the respect both fighters have for each other because no one dares do anything out of turn. This fighter told us yesterday, if he doesn't win by knockout, he doesn't consider it a real victory. That's the mentality he has. Sluggers are an absolute nightmare. They will stay in your face, not give you a breather, not step back when you think, all right, let's have a breather. They want to get stuck right in. Timing beats speed. Speed beats power. You know the scorecards are going to be all over the place in this one. Talk about Alvarez in that last round. Well, this is the time that the trainer needs to come in and say something special. This fighter needs to turn the tables in this next round. The bell, sometimes it can be the sweetest sound. We're hoping for an all-action slugfest. Coming off a very tough round. Let's see what they do here. They've had one minute to recover. Now they've got to block it. They've got to block it. They've got to come out now and style it out. Get on the back foot. Jab. Rest on the jab. Be smart and pop until your legs come back. Then put the pressure on. He threw a punch and just got countered. Have no respect for each other's punching power. This fight is all about distance for this man, and you can see he's using that length advantage. Sometimes I've been in with fighters that don't know what to do, don't have to break it down. Then you get a little dirty. The corner's got to take a good look at their fighter. Oh, and that changes everything. And down they go. Looks like he's leading halfway through this round. So this fight will continue, but how can they get back into this bout? The corner need to think nice and sharp. They know their fight. They know what their fight is capable of doing and what their fight can and cannot take. This is going to be a tough decision to make. Oh, he can smell blood. Look at that. He's put in round once. He knows what shot works and where to land it. Then he'll try and do it again. He's just not got to get trigger happy. Total domination with 10 seconds to go. You've never seen Canelo in this sort of trouble. Talk about Alvarez in that last round. He's been knocked down, but at least not knocked out yet. You've been put down, you've got to... We're hoping for an all-action slugfest. done with that counter shot we wanted action and they are giving us action and they got caught a true champion knows how to get So he's back on his feet, but he's got to somehow turn this around. 
Get up, look at his phone, look at the instructions. They're telling him to calm down, make the most of the count, get up, breathe, and move. Get behind the referee, save yourself a bit of time. You just need to make your way back to the corner. Somehow, get to the end of the round. I need to turn this around halfway through. There's a lot of... And we may see a stop... back up but at some point Johnny he's got to live to fight another day doesn't he but now it's about getting back to the corner freshen up get new instructions given to you and they've got to G you up they've got to tell you what you're doing wrong very close round with 10 seconds to go it but we've got a knockout victory a knockout victory that's not a knockout victory that is somebody saying i'm here i've arrived try that again it will happen all over again